identified with much more readily than, than, than with anything that was in our own culture. It was real things with real words, with real meanings. But and by then, most of us had gone back to his source, which was people like uh, Big Bill Brunsey, uh, Leadbelly, Josh White, those kind of people. American Southern Country Black Blues. We were much more turned on by that than by anything that was in our own culture. You wanted to go out on the road and it was as soon as possible. As soon as you could get some money together, you went. I was in Calais on, on the 21st of April, 1957. <laughs> You know, so <laughs> I sort of made a quick start. As that's the date, the first date in stamp in my passport, right? Well, the twelve of the Jones made a mighty heavy load, but grandfather John... You weren't the hobo that was catching the goods train. You were suddenly able to enact Kerouac's dream in Europe on the roads. And it looked like the promised land, that bright green... Dave was the leader, he was the first one. He's the beginning of the style. He would flit from here to there to everywhere. He'd stop halfway on along something and say, have you heard this? And start something completely different. You know, so that you could never quite follow him. Paul came over here in the same way that Dylan came over here to discover British folk music and take from it what he could. Paul is the only guy, is the only guy I've ever known so far who could stretch out full length in the front of a Land Rover with a trench coat on, right? <laughs> I do think that a lot of what was done in those days was done on drugs. The composer of life has arrived with his wife as composed as a cup of tea. Aldous Huxley. I read The Doors of Perception and I thought, this, 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 is, this is the biggest lot of sense I've ever read in my life. There's nothing mystic about this. You know, page after page of right down to earth factual, there, there it was. 